Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another 60 Seconds Challenge video. Now, this is probably one of the most creative challenges that I've seen in the comment section so far. So, bravo to you, my man, or woman, whichever one you are. But this is what it's called. It's called the Five Stages of Grief Challenge, and this is how it goes. First 10 days, you have to say no to everything. Denial. Except feeding, drinking. 15 days in this, you have to use the best weapon you can when an option comes up for them. Anger. 10 days where you take turns saying yes and no to choices, bargaining, except feeding, drinking. 10 days where you can't do anything involving a family member, depression, except feeding, drinking. You can now start playing normally, acceptance. You must survive at least 45 days. Okay, so this is denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance. All five stages of grief. You must survive at least 45 days. I'm guessing you do it in order. So like, for the first 10 days, it's denial. And then from day 11 to 25, you do the use the best weapon option and then so on and so forth so i'm just gonna keep bringing the challenge up on the screen so we can see where we are in the game because it is very lengthy and very confusing to me and i sometimes have my, my memory is so fucked up so we are just gonna put this on normal because if you don't tell me which mode to play it on i'm just gonna choose normal okay because that's the one i feel like is the most balanced but let's get this started i'm not limited to any items or family members i just have to follow the five stages of grief so, this is what I'm gonna do. I am gonna try to... Should I do this with every family member or nah? Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna bring my whore of a wife. And then I'm gonna get the water. What else is in here? Nothing. Okay, flashlight. Because I want to get Monsieur Pancake. Throw that in there. Get my tuba playing son of a daughter. There you go. And should I get Timmy? You know, fuck it. Timmy's the MVP. I love Timmy. I love him so much. There you go. What else should I get? Oh, yeah. I got to get weapons. Because I need to use weapons on certain days. So, let's get the radio. And let's get the Mr. Buskatbuk. I don't know where that accent came from, but I like it. It just feels right. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just got to speak in an accent that feels right. What the hell's the axe? Did I already grab it? Hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. Uh-oh. Roll, roll! Where's that axe? Am I blind? Freaking retarded! Where the fuck? No! Damn it! Okay, screw it. God damn it. Uh, oh, there's the axe. It's in the corner. Silly. God, fuck my butthole, silly. Oh, man, I didn't get that many weapons. I guess the best weapon I have is the gun. So let the five stages of grief challenge begin. Day one. Yay! I could have sworn I grabbed the map. I didn't. No, 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 I grabbed the Boy Scout book and I was saying it in like a French accent like I got to get the Boy Scout book. I remember that. Okay, we found one water. Yay. And that's it. Okay, every five days is water and food. Not gonna read the random notes ever. So you guys better calm that ass down because I'm never gonna read those motherfucking notes. All right, and the first 10 days we have to say no to everything except feeding and drinking. So no scavenging. No answering the door, no reading the notes, nothing. And let's just keep it that way. I'm not gonna, I'm trying not to jump cut as much so you guys can see the full days, you know what I mean? So, enough arguing, there are more important thing, things to worry about. Getting something to drink for Mary Jane sounds like the right idea. And everybody's thirsty and hungry, yeah, we get that. No scavenging. And as we're about to start our book club discussion on the only book we've all read, the phone book, we were interrupted by rapid knocking at the door. No, <laughs> sorry! Go away. Whatever it was, I think those were like doctors? No, I can't remember from like the items that were listed, but it was either something about doctors or like another camp. We could tell our guests were not thrilled with our refusal. Their tired eyes alone were enough to understand how much they needed those supplies. They did not beg, but simply turned around and left in an unknown direction. Maybe they will have more luck elsewhere. Maybe. Mary Jane keeps fainting. Timmy's in terrible shape. Everybody needs food and water. I get that. And we never thought we'd live to see a dancing cockroach. We still haven't, but we saw one that was nearly as big as a cat. Well, Mr. Cockroach, that's as big as a big old pussycat. Welcome. Because I can't say yes to trying to kill you. So there you are. Yuck, immune cockroach. That's no way to treat your guests. That's, that's horrible. That's very rude. Oh my, that thing is huge. That's what they tell me. And there goes another one. Roaches everywhere. We're doomed. We already feel all dirty. Mary Jane keeps fainting. Oh yeah, it's day five, so everybody gets some of that. What's up? And some soup. And nobody's going out again. And what's that trickling sound? And why is the wall so wet? Are we about to get flooded? Fuck! 
Oh my god, I'm gonna lose my radio. Fuck my uncle. Whatever, we have to say no to everything because it's the denial stage. And we have to keep that up for four more days. God, we lost the radio though. At least it wasn't like the med kit or the flashlight or whatever because I want to get pancakes so bad. And when emptying our bucket in front of the shelter, we discovered a hastily drawn map on one of the ruined walls. No sir, Bob, we are not going to do that. And usually when you look at the, the markings on a hastily drawn map, it's usually jack shit. It's like one can of food, so it's not even worth it. And then they're going to get sick anyway because they're exposed to the radiation. And we didn't expect to get a phone call so soon after the atomic bomb drop. What the hell are there so many scenarios happening in the first 10 days? When I have the ability to say yes to things, I never get this many scenarios. The fuck is going on? Does the game know I'm doing this challenge? That's some fuckery. It's just way too dangerous to just randomly run to a ring phone in the middle of a radioactive ghost town. Well, I would have answered the phone. Could have been the twins. Mary Jane is very thirsty. All thirsty ass. How about getting Timmy something to drink? Dolores has to drink sometimes. And Ted needs water to survive. Well, thank you, Captain Obvious. I didn't know that. And it turns out Mr. Freeman, the physics teacher at Timmy's school, was right. One plus one does indeed make two. In our case, it's two or more cockroaches because those little bastards just keep coming. We need to clean up our mess or end up with a full-blown infestation. Well, full-blown infestation, come to papa. Because I can't say yes to killing you yet. And there's still only one filthy rat bastard cockroach. And our time will come. But for the time being, we'll just have to adapt to this living situation. They're here, we're here. Let's make the best of it. They're only cockroaches after all. Mary Jane keeps fainting. Timmy's in terrible shape. Dolores will not survive. And Ted has one foot in the grave. What else is new? And we can't use the radio because we don't have it. And yes, this day 10 is the last day of the denial stage. <sighs> Finally. <laughs> Tired of saying no to things. Gotta give them some of this first. Oh, damn. We need to scavenge quick. Okay, nobody's going out yet. And more random notes. So hooray for us! We just passed the denial stage. Everybody high fives! Yeah! Denial is good to go. So what's next? Let me look at the challenge real quick. 15 days in this, you have to use the best weapon you can when an option comes up for them. Anger. Alright, so from day 11 to 25, we are going to use the best weapon we can whenever the option comes up. Obviously, if we don't have any weapon and then an option comes up but there's like an X over it, then we won't choose it because we can't. So let's prepare to scavenge. And another radio option that we can't do. Damn. I don't really want to get rescued by the military anyway. I love the twin ending. I don't know. Just seeing their, like, their blonde hair from the back, I'm just like, yes! If there's one thing we need to do, it's to use a radio on a regular basis to catch any emergency broadcast that might be transmitted in our area. Yes, I wholeheartedly agree with that. We're feeling pretty optimistic about today's expedition. The only thing left to do is choose the right person to go outside. All right, let's choose Ted, and I'm not sure. Let me check the challenge again. Okay, the challenge says you have to use the best weapon you can when an option comes up for them. So an option has come up. We can pick a gun, so I'm going to have him use the, the rifle because it did come up. I'm not sure if this counts as using the weapon, but just in the spirit of the rules, I'm going to do that. And actually, I don't know why I picked Ted to go outside. Whatever. I think I just had like a brain fart. So nobody gets any of that yet. And when we opened the bunker door this morning to let in some fresh radioactive air, we discovered a small suitcase on our doorstep. There was no note on it and the neighborhood seemed empty. Should we take a look inside? How about go fuck yourself? Not looking in that shitty ass suitcase. It's probably Jack shite in there anyway. We always wanted a pet, but we couldn't decide what to get. A cat? A dog? No matter. We have our very own cockroach colony now. Well, we're past the denial stage, so let's kill that rat bastard. Sorry, Mr. Cockroach. Your time is up. You haven't been paying rent. You've been hitting on my daughter, Mary Jane, and I don't appreciate that. I don't. I really don't. We have defeated the insidious roaches and driven them away. Their nests are ours! That should teach them a lesson. And it's day 15, so the whole family gets to eat and drink. And during the night, we heard some suspicious sounds coming from behind our door. When we peeked out this morning, we saw a leather suitcase. No, I'm so tired of that suitcase going on our doorstep. I'm sorry, guys. Just no. We're in the anger stages. We need to be angry that someone's leaving shit on our doorstep. The trash can is becoming full of empty soup cans, and that unmentionable bucket is overflowing. Both of them are attracting strangely glowing, suspiciously big insect wildlife. Roaches weren't that big before the war, were they? No. And if there were roaches that were super big, I don't want to live in that period of time. I'd rather die. And there's Ted, sick as a damn dog. 
And he brought back the gun still though, so that's good. And we got one can of soup. And that's it! Get the fuck out of here! You don't even deserve the med kit for that. You're a... Oh, God, you suck. Ring, ring, there we were, thinking we... Okay, it's the twins, so let's send out Mary Jane. She probably has a lovely voice. I mean, she is involved in music. She has to use that throat to blow into that tuba. So I'm pretty sure when she answers, she's like, Hello, how you guys doing? My name is Mary Jane, baby. Mwah. You know, just a sexy voice, and the twins are like, Oh, my God, she sounds sexy as hell. We gotta go save her! Oh, wait. Was it them? Uh, yeah, it is them. It's the twins. Cool. We started the twin ending. And should we feed Teddy? Yes. Okay. He's about to die, so let's feed him. And then let's send out one of the kids. And we can't use the radio. Okay, so until day 25, we have to pick any option that is the most violent. So we have a gun, and that is the only thing that we have. So I guess we have to keep choosing the gun option. But first, we are going to send Timothy and give him the gun again. I don't know if it counts, but just in the spirit of the rules, so I'm not breaking any type of rules, I am just going to send him out with a gun. And it's day 20, so we get to feed our lovely family. And Timmy better bring back something. Like He better, he better bring back water and food. Not either or. He better bring back both or else he's not welcome back in the shelter. Someone paid us a visit today. It was an overly cheerful, red-haired woman accompanied by a grumpy-looking mercenary type who was probably her guard. She told us she was a traitor and eagerly showed us the items she'd brought along. She offers a suitcase for the med kit. <laughs> Hell no! She offers the map for cards. Oh, I would have taken that deal. She offers a padlock for the flashlight. She offers a radio for an axe. Ah. Oh. Well, this one has no, like gun option so I can't choose the best one because none of them have to do anything with violence so I don't have to trade yes he's back thank you Timmy oh my god there's a box full of soup oh my god I love you Timmy and we still have the gun yay and four cans of soup a radio a map fuck yeah Timmy my favorite ginger haired kid comes through again you the real MVP Timmy oh yeah I love you so much I love you so, so much. Wait, wait. Do we have to feed him or is he going to die right now? Let me see. Okay. No, we're good. We can survive one more day without feeding him. And then now it is Mary Jane's turn to go outside. And we only have two more days for the anger stage of the five stages of grief. So this is the last day. We can take care of ourselves. Mary Jane keeps fainting. Timmy's diet needs food. It's today or never. Uh oh, that means you either feed me or I'm out. Um, let's give him that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Whoops. Oh, it's only day 24. I don't need to give everybody all that. There you go. And then you're going outside, and you are bringing the gun again, Mary Jane. And now we have survived the anger stage. So let me check what's the next phase. Ten days where you take turns saying yes and no to choices, bargaining, except feeding, drinking. Okay, so the way I'm reading this, from now until day 35... We have to take turns saying yes and no, yes and no. So if I say yes to an option, then the next option that comes up, I say no. So that's what I'm getting from that. I don't know if that's exactly what the challenge is asking of me, but that's how I'm reading it, and that's how I'm going to do it. So let's give them some of this, except that. Let me uh, take that away, because I just gave him food yesterday. And then if there's anyone who can rescue us from this hellish situation, it's our government. Yes, I agree with that. Oh, man. This is a fun challenge, I'm not gonna lie. It makes you think. Like, it, it makes you think about all the stages and, like, the things you have to do in order to keep up with the spirit of the challenge. Okay, so I used the radio this time, so the next option that comes up, I'm gonna say no to it. Let's see what we have. Someone is at the door. We're a bit scared, but maybe it's a friendly face of an American soldier. Should we open? So, since I picked the radio option, which was a yes to, you know, listening on the radio, I'm gonna pick no. This is cool. I'm having fun with this one. This is one of the more creative challenges that I've ever seen. I'm really happy that uh, you guys upvoted this comment because that's the reason why I found it. It was liked by hundreds of people and everyone's like, do it! You gotta do it! Every new smell attacks our noses in this little shelter instantly. There isn't much we can miss. So, when a single brick fell out from the wall revealing a tight opening, our senses were immediately invaded by a terrible stench. We should probably check that hole out and see what the source of that smell is. Okay, so I did yes, no, so it's yes again. Even though somebody's probably gonna get sick, because when you find out the source of that stench, somebody, no? Okay, 
Ted's still sick though. He's still sick though. We approached the hole cautiously and peeked inside. Oh my god, I'm reading it right now and I already see we lost the radio. What happened? Oh, something jumped out and then broke the radio? Damn, that's a strong ass animal. You gotta be fucking kidding me. And hear that? No, because no one is talking, not a word in hours. Well, I can't use the radio anyway, so we did yes, no, yes. So we gotta do no for the next one. And where the hell is Mary Jane? Where's my boo thing? Just kidding. Mary Jane's not my boo thing. Oh, oh, guys, you thought you fell for that. You thought she was my boo thing. There she is. Oh my gosh, she's sick too. Oh shit. Gambling's a terrible habit. What kind of example is that to sit to the kids? I agree. Mary Jane came back. She gave us one can of soup, two waters, and the gun is gone. But whatever, we're over that phase. So let's give them all that. And then we need to prepare to scavenge, but what the hell? A young man paid us a visit today. He told us a story of his brave twin sister who went missing while spying on a nearby bandit camp. Okay, no, we're good. I am not going to be doing that. Ted has been sick for far too long, and he was too weak to keep on going. He passed away in his sleep. Well, at least it was in his sleep. God, Teddy, 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 Teddy. Um, nobody's going to get any of that because that's just some random notes. Sorry, guys, I'm thinking about Ted. Thinking if I should have given him the med kit because... I mean, because we're not going to get pancake anyway. Who am I kidding? Uh, nobody's going to get anything. And should we send somebody out? Timmy! Timmy wants to go out. Yes, I love you, Timmy. Our supplies are scarce and our morale is low. You can almost smell the desperation in the shelter. We're pretty sure there's a small group of survivors nearby, mostly old folks from the retirement home. It shouldn't be hard to borrow some of their supplies. They're old anyway, and we need them more, right? Okay, so... Oh my god, where was I? I did yes, no... Yes, okay, I need to do no. I need to do no. Whew. Uh, I was confused about which one I had to choose now. We're no bandits, sure. We need supplies, but not at the cost of others. We won't bother these people. A man who takes canned tomato soup from another is not worthy to taste that soup. Let's just hope that everybody else is out there is as decent as our family. Mary Jane could use a little food. Timmy should eat something. I only have two more days of this stage, and we could just get it through. So I said no last time, so I have to send somebody out this time. But this is the scavenging one, so it doesn't even matter. Um, do I have anything? Oh, wait. I need to use the gas mask because I don't know if the fallout outside is mostly gone. So good luck, Timmy. Please bring back good items like you did last time. You gotta be the MVP, man. You're the man of the family now. Ted is a skeleton inside the bunker. We can't, we can't have no man in here. The trash can of ours is getting disgusting. The good news is we don't have much of an appetite when we see it, so we're saving some food. Yet for some reason, we would like to tidy this mess up. Those giant green cockroaches are a pretty good motivator. Okay, so we said yes to Timmy going out, so now we have to say no to the cockroach thing. And this is the last day, right? Yes! Okay, the last day. Please no options come up. I don't want to fuck this all up. Um, oh wait, we gotta give him some of this. And the bandit camp nearby is causing a lot of trouble, but I don't have anything anyway. So we passed this stage, so let me check what the next one is. Ten days where you can't do anything involving a family member. Depression, except feeding, drinking. Okay, well, how about I start the ten days when Timmy gets back because he's out scavenging already. Actually, no, it should count because, after, like, when this kicks in, I didn't do anything with any of the family members, so we're good. We're good. He can stay out there, and it's already in full effect. So from now until day 45, nobody's gonna, like, no family member is gonna have to do anything. We're just gonna be staying staying inside and being depressed. All right, there's Timothy. Brought back more food! Like a real MVP should! He still brought back the gas mask, too. What a man. Two cans of soup. Two waters, an axe. Fuck yeah! Okay. So, nothing involving the family members. Nothing at all. So, none of this. And... None of the roach thing, right? Well, this doesn't involve family members, right? So, 10 days where you can't do anything involving a family member. This doesn't involve a family member. This involves killing roaches. So, let's kill those rat bastards. Ha! I, I follow the rules, guys. We have defeated the insidious roaches and driven them away. Their nest is ours! That should teach them a lesson. Mary Jane could use food. Timmy needs food. Dolores will not survive without water. Okay. Um, let's, uh... It says she won't survive without water any longer. You know what? Just for a precaution, I'm gonna give them some of that. And nobody's gonna go outside. And this is insane. We keep finding spiders everywhere. They're in our soup. They're in our water. We swear some of them keep coming back. And they are bigger every time we see them. It can't go on like this. It's time to wage the war on these spiders! 
Okay, let's kill the spiders with the Boy Scout book, and we should be fine. Oh my god. Stay 40. Yeah, baby. Let's give them some of the food in the water. I'm really focused on, um, on this, uh, like making this playthrough worthwhile. A young man knocked on our door today asking for help. He said he has been watching us for a while and he believes we're good and decent people. No, I can't do anything with any family members, at least not for five more days. So, Mr. Twin, please come back in about five days and then I can go with you. I promise. But right now, we, we're just depressed, okay? So just go away. Our situation doesn't really encourage going out and risking our necks for some strangers. At least not today. Maybe Tuesday? Well, four more days and we're going to be with those strangers, all right? So you better get used to it. Mary Jane was injured on her last expedition. She didn't mention it to us and we didn't notice. It wasn't a problem until just now. It seems her injury got infected and she's in bad shape. We must help her. I'm sorry, Mary Jane. I can't do anything, all right? I'm a depressed person and I can't help you out. I'm sorry. If you die, then that's your own problem. Day 43. The damaged rifle hanging there makes us feel unsafe. Maybe we should fix it? Not to mention it could be useful in this part of the wasteland. Any part of the wasteland for that matter. Okay, so this doesn't involve a family member. This involves fixing the rifle. So we can do that. Nothing wrong with that. As long as it doesn't benefit one of the family members, like heals them or makes them go out. Oh my god. Fuck you, Mary Jane. You were a slut anyway. You know that? I was going to tell you that to your face. We fixed the gun. So Timmy's hungry. And you need to give him water now. Uh oh. Okay, so let's give him some of that. And hear that? It sounds like the herd of animals are stampeding just above our heads. No, thank you! And yes! We just passed the depression stage of the five stages of grief. So now, we can start playing normally. Acceptance. And you must survive at least 45 days. Pancake is optional. And I did do them in order, so ha! Alright, so now we can start playing normally because it's acceptance. And let's just try to get rescued. We only have one or less than one can of water. So we need to just hustle now. Let's do that. And this guy wants water, but we're going to go tell him to fuck himself. All right, Mary Jane, you're going to go out with the gas mask. Hopefully Timmy doesn't like run away and is insane because that's going to suck the biggest balls of all the balls in the world that need to be sucked. I don't even know where I was going with that sentence. I was just, I was just hopefully, like, hoping that I could, <laughs> that it was going to go somewhere. A stranger pushing a rusty wheelbarrow filled with all kinds of goods stopped by today. He claimed he's a trader looking to barter for items he requires. He offers one water in exchange for the cards. He offers one water in exchange for the poison. Offers two in exchange for the book. Offers one in exchange for the flashlight. Well, since I'm not going to get pancake... I think that I'm going to sacrifice one water, because at least if May uh, Dolores doesn't come back with water, then I can at least have one extra water bottle. That'll last Timmy and Dolores at least 10 days, because every five days, so it'll last them 10 days, so that's good. I, I think that was a worthwhile trade to make. It's hard to keep track of time down here. We can't tell if it's night or day. Our sleeping patterns are messed up. These terrible light bulbs are not helping. Too bad we can't replace them. There has to be something else we could do about this. Let's use the med kit, and hopefully Timmy doesn't go crazy. Please, Timmy, come back to reality, Timmy! Yeah, damn, he's still crazy, and he's fingering his bear's eye. What the hell's wrong with you, man? Let's give him some of this. And noises, weird noises all the time. I don't know what those weird noises are. It can't be Dolores and your dad, because Ted's dead, and it'd be weird if she was moaning and it was somebody else. But it is day 50, so that's what I like to hear. What the hell is Dolores, though? The trash can of ours is getting disgusting. All right, let's fix that. Oh, my God. Please come back, Dolores. Come to Papa. Yes! She's back. She's sad, though. Why are you sad, girl? What did she get? One water. Ammo. Flashlight. And no gas mask. Okay, so now I don't think I'm going to send anybody out to scavenge or anything. I think I can survive with two and a half bottles of water. Let's just hope and pray, guys. A young man knocked on our door today asking for help. He said he has been watching us for a while and he believes that we're good and decent people. Yes, it's the guy. So let's send Timmy on his way, even though Timmy is crazy as hell wearing a soup can on his head like it's a damn hat. Day 52. There's a man on our doorstep and he wants to be our friend. At least that's what he says. He looks harmless, although he seems to have acquired an extra pair of arms as a result of some weird mutation. Okay, so these people can e either help us with our next raiding thing or they can help us when we scavenge. So... Let's see which one it is. He will help us fight off the next raiding party that comes our way. Yes. Let's give him some soup because we can spare some soup, right? Yes. 
We can spare soup, but not the water. Okay, so if people come to attack us, we have the gun, we have an axe, and we also have people who will help us, um, the people who have extra arms, so that's good. Day 54. There's an armed and dangerous woman outside. Fortunately, she's out of ammo. She tells us she hunts the wild beasts of the waste, and right now she is on the trail of a giant mutated spider. We're pretty sure she lost her mind. What are you going to do with that spider, lady? Put it on a leash? She promises that if we help her, she will return the favor another day. Okay, let's give her the ammo. I mean, we're pretty much shit out of luck because Timmy's crazy, Dolores is sick, and I don't know. I, I honestly don't have a good feeling about this, but hopefully things could happen. Let's see. Uh, we're curious to see what she's planning to do with that spider once she catches it. She doesn't want to say. Maybe one day we'll find out. All right, cool. Maybe she'll help us with the raiders or something. Let's give them some of this. That's water, right? Okay, good. And nobody's going outside because there is commotion and they're sure it's a band of raiders. And our patience is wearing thin. We thought it would be a good idea to take a look outside. No, that's Pancake. Sorry, Pancake. I don't have any resources for you, buddy. All right, it's day 57. Timmy went crazy and he just tore up the Boy Scout book. You son of a bitch. I was hoping that he could make this uh, poison into a med kit and then I could heal Dolores. But this rat bastard decided to break the Boy Scout book. So that is some shit. As we're looking through our map, we came across a few markings that were not original. Someone has added a pointer to a location near us. What would we find there? You know what? I'm going to send Timmy because he's a little bitch and broke the Boy Scout book. Hopefully we can get a med kit or if he doesn't come back, then screw him, right? What do you bring back? A checkerboard? Eh, whatever. Okay, let's see. There's more thugs outside that are above our bunker. I'm not gonna send anybody out yet. And more random notes. Day 61. The siblings kept their word and visited us again with a request. Seeing as they're slowly running out of space in their tent, their group is attempting to build a small camp for themselves. They already gathered some resources, but they need someone to help them chop wood and build houses. Okay, good thing we have that axe. Please save us quick. Dolores is not looking good. She is not looking good. I mean, she didn't look good before that, but she's like looking extra not good today. If you guys know what I'm saying. And we got a few splinters, but the work is done. We even had some fun. It was almost like building that treehouse in our backyard all over again. Okay, that's good. So they need to get water because it says Dolores will not last without water any longer. All right, so let's just give them that. And nobody's going to go outside. And we never felt weird, but today we had to revisit the term. It seems that our little green pests, guests, are trying to communicate with us. One of them was even holding a sign that said, We come in peace. No, let's kill them off with the bug spray. God, please don't get a game over. We're too far in. Yes, day 63. We're good. And I got an achievement called Bug Hunter. Hooray! No, no, no. No talking cockroaches. No, sir! We need to make sure we do not even look at those abominations. Wait, how do you even use that spray? Hey! I don't even know what that... I don't even know how to pronounce that. Aye! Aye, papi! Okay, nobody's gonna get anything. And our situation is getting worse every day. We can see the hunger and desperation in each other's eyes. We know a teacher from a local school rescued a bunch of kids. No, thank you. Usually that one doesn't ever work out anyway. Like the whole teacher thing. You never get any supplies. They just hit you with like their school books or whatever. Timmy still hasn't recovered his full mental competence. Dolores is doing quite well. Oh, that's good. Okay, so she's doing well. That's nice to know. And more random notes. Day 65. We got scared a little bit today when all of a sudden our map just fell off the wall. Maybe our shelter is haunted? When the map fell down, it revealed some sort of safe behind it. We don't remember installing it, but we can probably crack it. Well, we technically have all the time in the world to do it. Should we try? You know what? Why, why not, right? Because these guys are goners anyway. Let's see if we can get anything good. That was terrifying. As soon as we cracked the safe open, the lights went out, and for a few seconds we were left in complete darkness. When it was all over, we noticed that some of our supplies went missing. Damn that ghost! The fuck was a ghost doing in a safe? You gotta be shitting me! Timmy's in terrible shape. We need to give him water now. Today was relatively calm for Dolores. Oh my god. Okay. That's the last of it. Oh boy, this is pretty bad. What's that sound? Oh no, something or someone is below us. You know what? This is what we're gonna do. We are gonna send Dolores out because we are fucked either way. So let's do this. And... Oh no, there's bandits around. Just crap, we can't do anything. Okay, something is below us. Uh, no thank you. Oh my god. We have less than five days to get rescued by the twins or it's done. It's done time. And I am not ready for that time. 
Oh my god, please don't die. Day 68. Come on, twins, please! Oh, for the love of god, somebody please help us. Ring, ring, there we were. No! What the hell? That's not the twins. It's just one of those, uh, soup telemarketers. Day 69. Giggity, giggity. Oh, Dolores is crazy. She's crazy. I'm going crazy. Come on, please, 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 please. One thing you don't expect is a band of people all dressed in green showing up at your doorstep and claiming they take from the rich and give to the poor. Okay, we are poor as shit! Look at this! We have nothing! We have a girl drooling, a man who's dead, and a fucking kid with a head of a bear in his hands! We are desperate. We need whatever items you can give us. Please! Please! Day 70, please! What the fuck? They didn't even give us anything! A radio? We don't need a fucking radio! Oh, uh, we were able to catch the military broadcast again. This time they're asking us to get out with a flashlight and signal to their plane after it gets dark. You know what? Screw it. I'll do it. Ah, uh, this looks like it's gonna be a bad editing, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. Dolores is dead. Great! Oh my god. Dolores' sickness progressed quickly. Coughing fever, chest pains, she didn't recover. Of all places we could have perished, this is probably the best one. Or maybe not. We held out for 71 days. Damn! That was such a fun challenge, too. I might revisit that one in the future. Oh my god. But it just, it, there's just so much time invested in it, you know? Because you have to do 10 days of this, 15 days of this, 10, day th 10 days of this, and... Oh man. Like, I want to play through it again right now, but... I think I might just have to, like, take a step back. <laughs> you know, breathe in and out a couple times. And uh, maybe revisit that one one day. But thank you so much for that challenge. That was awesome. I love the creativity you guys have in these challenges. So if you guys have any more that you could just think about the top of your head, please leave them in this comment section below. But if you guys enjoyed this video, though, please give it a like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead, too!